Talk of the Town. I'm Robin Zimmerman. With me now is The Voice. The Voice of 104.9, The Surf, every morning from 6 a.m. to 10. This is Jeff T. Bone Taylor. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Good to meet you. Good to meet you. Glad, glad to be here. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so, for inviting me in. Yeah, so you're a radio man, 35 years. Uh, never got, did you ever have the bug to get into TV? Was it always radio? No, it's always been radio since I was about two years old. That's what I've always wanted to do. I remember, you know, uh, my mom had film of me carrying a carrot around. Really? Talk, talking into it like a <laughs> mic, and it's something I've always... So when I tell people, they ask you, are you doing what you... I says, yeah, I'm doing what I... I'm living the dream, basically. And you have been in this area the entire all time? All 35 years, yeah. I started in Savannah. Okay. Um, worked all, uh, a couple different stations, but uh, Low Country and Coastal Empire for th all 35 years right here. And that's... It's extra special to me because a lot of people in the radio business or even TV business, they like to move around a lot. Right. I didn't no. want to do that. I wanted to keep my family in one place. Yeah, because that's how you move up. Yeah. Or you go to a bigger, it's always about the next step, yep. the next station, the bigger station, yeah. the radio or TV. Right. So, and, and Bob Stevens, who of course works here and does our daily news, actually the, provides news right. for you every day. And, but you're predominantly a music. Mm -hmm. uh, stage or yep. your show is music. Yep, classic hits, uh, <laughs> core artists. You know, Fleetwood Mac, The Beatles, uh, Rolling Stones. So I guess I've always thought, how how do, do you pick the music, or is it just all on the computer? It's, it's all just on the computer. Natural. I am a program director, and there, there's okay. a software that we use that that we run that I that I schedule the music every day, and that's a lot of fun too behind it. And so how do you how do you get so and you said Bob does traffic and he does the news. Do mm -hmm. you replay him over and over? Or how tell no, me he, about the he, mix. He, he does it from from his house and he updates it every you know 10, 15 minutes okay. for for uh, the traffic segment. And when it comes to the news, you know there's three different ones that we have running right. in the morning. Right. But he does that all from home. And if we have a, that way, if we have a problem, he can tell sure. me, hey, I got to have this uploaded or whatever. So I work primarily alone in the morning, which I love. <laughs> Um, along with him, and uh, we just make it roll. So you get up really early, and then yeah. you go on the air at six. I get, I, I leave my house. I live in Guyton, Georgia. It, I leave my house about ten of four. Oh, I gosh. get here about four thirty. Get things ready, show prep, and everything ready to go by six. And you're not ready to retire. Or you're no. enjoying it too much. I love it too much. Why do you love it so much? It's, it, well, <laughs> I've always. I mean, music. I mean, everybody loves music. I don't care what kind of music you like. I love music. It's just, I, I, it just, it's my energy. It, now, what type of music? Do you have a favorite? Uh, I like all music. Really? Rock, uh, Motown, soul, you name it. Uh, I, I like it. Now, being in the radio business, have you met some big stars? Yeah. Like, uh, t t share. Uh, Alice Cooper. Went backstage with him and one of the nicest guys you can ever meet, uh, Ian Anderson of Jethro Tull, uh, Aerosmith, all the boys from Aerosmith, uh, really? Pink Floyd. I mean, the list is endless. Um, but I think the biggest joy I get is missing is uh, meeting the listeners that listen to the radio station because we share the same connection. We love music. And that's what gets me really, really excited is when I get to meet people out and about when I'm doing you know, either stuff here or doing stuff for the radio station or even on my own. When I get to meet people and they say, Jeff, I've listened to you since I've grown up. And here they're, they're a lot older. And that makes me feel good because I listened to you since I was in, you know, right. fifth grade or whatever. And I get a lot of that lately. And it really, really, really hits here. But how do they know? Because you're not a face on TV. Right. How do they know you? They'll notice you? the voice. They, they hear your voice say, oh, you're Jeff yeah. T-Bone. Yeah. You, you're T-Bone yeah, Taylor. Yeah, you're T-Bone Taylor. Yep, exactly. <laughs> it happens a lot. And then my wife will be out with me, and they go, you're uh, uh, you're the radio guy's wife, aren't you? Because I, <laughs> I share a lot of her pictures on Facebook. But I talk about my family all the time on the radio. You do? This was against a lot of uh, yeah. uh, people in the past, but I'm like, no, that's what I've done. And I think that's probably primarily the number one thing that I've done is I share, share your life what my life with everybody else and we kind of have a connection with that because people say you know well that's, that's that happened to me yeah and you've got kids yep how no how many and I've got I've got two boys and uh, we're raising our granddaughter we've had her since she was three months old so she's my daughter right. Kayla or as cuckoo head on the radio <laughs> how she's old always, is she now she uh, she'll be uh 
18 in October, oh graduates from high school, which oh, is still can't believe that it's going to happen. Great. And I've got a total of seven grandchildren. Wow, so nice to meet you. Our time is up, unfortunately. We could just keep talking yes, and talking. Yes, ma'am, I would love to, yeah. But <laughs> we'll no, have you thanks, back for sure. Thanks for having me in. I yeah. really appreciate it. Devo and Taylor, thank you so much for being with us. Broadcaster for 35 years. Yes, ma'am. Good job. Love it. All love right. it. Love every minute of it. Thank you.